Hello world. I'm Imagination. Today I'm going to talk about Hyperloop, transportation of the future. Hyperloop is a new form of ground transport currently in development by several companies. It could see passengers traveling at over 700 miles an hour in a floating pod which races along inside giant low-pressure tubes, either above or below ground. There are two big differences between Hyperloop and traditional rail. Firstly, the pods carrying passengers travel through tubes or tunnels from which most of the air has been removed to reduce friction. This should allow the pods to travel at up to 750 miles per hour. Secondly, rather than using wheels like a train or car, the pods are designed to float on air skis, using the same basic idea as an air hockey table, or use magnetic levitation to reduce friction. Supporters argue that Hyperloop could be cheaper and faster than train or car travel, and cheaper and less polluting than air travel. They claim that it's also quicker and cheaper to build than traditional high-speed rail. Hyperloop could, therefore, be used to take the pressure off gridlocked roads, making travel between cities easier, and potentially unlocking major economic benefits as a result. Several different companies are working to turn the idea into a functioning commercial system. Hyperloop technology is still in development even though the basic concept has been around for many years. At the moment, the earliest any Hyperloop is likely to be up and running is 2020 but most services are expected to be later, as trials of the technology are still in their early stages. It's still not clear where Hyperloops will be established but many companies have sketched out routes in the US, UAE, India, Europe, and elsewhere. The basic idea of Hyperloop as envisioned by Elon Musk is that the passenger pods or capsules travel through a tube, either above or below ground. To reduce friction, most, but not all of the air is removed from the tubes by pumps. Overcoming air resistance is one of the biggest uses of energy in high-speed travel. Airliners climb to high altitudes to travel through less dense air, in order to create a similar effect at ground level. Hyperloop encloses the capsules in a reduced pressure tube, effectively allowing the trains to travel at airplane speeds while still on the ground. The pods will get their velocity from an external linear electric motor, effectively a round induction motor rolled flat. Under Musk's model, the Hyperloop would be powered by solar panels placed on the top of the tube which would allow the system to generate more energy than it needs to run. Supporters argue that Hyperloop is significantly better than high-speed rail. It is lower cost and more energy efficient because, among other things, the track doesn't need to provide power to the pods continuously and, because the pods can leave every 30 seconds, it's more like an on-demand service. It's also potentially two or three times faster than even high-speed rail and ten times the speed of regular rail services. Critics of Hyperloop have warned that traveling in the tube might be an uncomfortable experience, due to nausea-inducing acceleration, plus lateral g-force on bends in the route. However, Virgin Hyperloop 1 says that a journey via Hyperloop will feel about the same as riding in an elevator or a passenger plane. Musk's LA to San Francisco version offered tickets at just $20 but Virgin Hyperloop 1 is vaguer on its plans, difficult to say as it will depend greatly on the route, but the goal is to make it affordable for everyone. It said, while Hyperloop transportation technologies said it expects a profitable system with low ticket price projections. The companies building Hyperloop services argue that they are significantly cheaper to build than high-speed rail services. Musk's Hyperloop Alpha paper claimed his LA to San Francisco route could be built for one-tenth of the price of a high-speed rail alternative. Other companies have said their services could be one-third to half the price of rail services and much faster. Being cheaper to build should mean these services can become profitable quickly. Despite doing much to lay the groundwork for Hyperloop services, Musk initially said he was too busy to develop his own service. There are now a number of companies working to turn the idea into reality, including startups and others that have been working on the idea for some time already. Among them are Virgin Hyperloop One, HTT, Transpod, Arrivo, and others. Each is developing a slightly different set of technologies, but the fundamental underlying idea remains the same. Elon Musk set up the boring company with the aim of making it easier and faster to dig the tunnels under, and between, cities in order to make Hyperloop projects viable. Tunnels can cost as much as $1 billion a mile to dig, the boring company wants to dig tunnels at one-tenth of the price. The company says it can do this by digging smaller tunnels, making faster and more efficient digging machines, and replacing diesel-powered machines with electric ones. Virgin Hyperloop 1 is one of the leading contenders attempting to create a commercially viable Hyperloop system. It was founded in June 2014 and has over 300 staff. It has raised $295 million with the aim of building an operational system by 2021. The company currently has projects underway in Missouri, Texas, Colorado, 
North Carolina, the Midwest, India, Saudi Arabia, and the UAE. The next stage for Hyperloop is to move beyond initial testing and feasibility studies, start long-distance trials of the technology, and, even more importantly, testing the service with passengers. That's all for today. Thanks for watching.